Now, of course, there are differences uh, in measurements and sizes with uh, humans, animals, and each individuals. So, of course, in humans, if one has a person with uh, the weight of, let's say, 60 kilograms, uh, it differs from a person who has the weight of, like, let's say, 100 kilograms or more. So, larger individuals tend to have larger hearts. This means that when comparing different individuals, we may need to take different uh, differences in body sizes into consideration. We can calculate the strong, uh, the strong volume index, which is a strong volume corrected by body surface area, the SA. Because, of course, uh, when you have different individuals, like let's say the uh, hearts of a mouse, does it equal the hearts of a lion and does it equal the heart of a human? So, how do we know? Uh, and then they're not uh, calculated with the same equation as we, we mentioned before. So, how do we calculate it? We have first uh, FBI, which is a stroke volume index, equals stroke volume uh, over body surface area. By compensating the other values of the stroke value into the equation, is cardiac output over eight, divided by HR, and this value is, is further divided by the SA. By doing a cross multiplication, the uh, uh, cardiac output will be divided by the heart rate over the body surface area. So we can take out, or we know the mean of uh, strong volume index by all of these um, equations according to what's given in the question. Uh, the question may give you like cardiac, the question gives you uh, a cardiac output and uh, uh, beats per, per minute you're gonna choose this law and then or this law. If they directly give you the strong volume, you're gonna choose this law. So of course you're gonna uh, solve it by what you have or the given in the question. Of course, there are different ways to calculate body surface area by using the most stellar formula. The most stellar formula of the body surface area is the weight by height, uh, I'm sorry, I can say the square root of the weight by height divided by 60, where the W in mass is in kilogram, and the age of height <coughs> is centimeter, and the body surface area is in meter squared. Of course, if they give you uh, the units in any difference of kilogram and a centimeter, you have to turn them, okay, by the way we learned uh, previously, by multiplying by 10 to the force of 3 of 2 according to if it's meter, kilometer, kilogram, and so on. Calculate the body surface area for an individual, individual of a 90 kilogram and height of 5 feet 10 inches using the most stellar formula. Now, as we said before, uh, the W in mass in kilogram and H in height is in centimeter and DSA in meter squared. As you can see here in the question, the height is in feet and inches. So we have to turn them into centimeters by the way that we talked before in here. Okay? So you're gonna take the five, multiply it by 12, exactly like this one, multiply it by 12, and you're gonna add the feet. Okay? So I believe is uh, 5 multiplied by 12 is 60 plus 10 is 70 inches. And then after that, 70 inches is multiplied by 2.54. 70 by 2.54. It will equal 177 centimeters point eight or 1. Uh, 1.37 meters. It's required in centimeters, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, and this question is required for body surface area. We're going to go back to see. 
So we're going to say weight, which is 90 kilogram, multiplied, multiplied by height, which is the value that we just took out, which was uh, 177 centimeters, over 60. Okay. First, we're going to do the multiplication in here. And the result in here, we're going to take out the square root of it. So we're going to say 90 by 177. And the result, we're going to take out the square root of it. The square root, the result of, will be divided over 60. And we're going to know the BSA. Okay? If this individual has a cardiac output of the left ventricle, of 7.2 liter per minute and the heart rate of 75 beats per minute then calculate their SVI and this question it gave us the cardiac output and the HR and they want the SVI so what we're going to do we're going to say SVI equals cardiac output over heartbeat uh, all of them are divided by body surface area. So, uh, 7.2 over 75, or divided by 75, over the, or the result of the BSA that we uh, found out in the first question. And this will give us the value of strong volume in Through training, an athlete increases the stroke volume of their left ventricle from 94 milliliters to 128 milliliters. What is the percentage in increase in the stroke volume? We are going to divide the final cardiac or the stroke volume to the initial stroke volume. And the result of this difference we will divide it over the uh, initial uh, value by 100% to know the percentage in stroke volume. A healthy individual has measured a stroke volume left ventricle of 88 milliliters. But following a heart attack, this discrete decreased to 60 milliliters. Calculate the percentage decrease. Okay. Of course, the stop style is similar to the above it. We are gonna, um, we're gonna say the uh, final uh, calculation minus the initial calculation. We're gonna divide it, and we are gonna uh, uh, multiply it by one hundred percent to get the percentage. Okay.